And on the line, Raheem Kassam, Managing Editor of Breitbart London, which is a right-wing news site. Raheem, good morning to you. Good morning. I hope you were listening to that conversation with Adrian Bromley. I was fascinating, an interview with the editor of De Sturmer there. Well, you know, I, I don't know if that's his role, but I mean, what did you make of what he said? Oh, it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, um, I think he's, he's completely got this issue on its head. And, and, and look, I, I don't speak for Nigel Farage, but I know Nigel Farage, and he wouldn't have agreed uh, with, with Adrian on that, I'm afraid. I mean, there, to, to, to imply that somebody is, is subhuman, is, is, uh, I don't even know where something like that comes from. My jaw was, was open when I was listening to that. I think I can see where sort of what he's trying to get at, but he's way off the mark. Uh, I, I mean, I think all he's trying to say is some people uh, have been raised in a culture that that, that, that actually inures them to, to the communities around them, mm. and, and therefore they... Uh, they don't necessarily have as much empathy towards wider society. And that, but that can happen in any culture. That can happen in any country. It could happen uh, despite your race or, or, or where you were brought up. I mean, um, if, you so rem- if you remember the London riots, and of course we'll never forget them, and you remember perfectly decent people so suddenly frenziedly stealing televisions and pairs of trainers that they yeah, most definitely yeah, yeah. Look, didn't, didn't need, didn't want, you know. That, that, was, that was something, wasn't it? I don't know if it was a genetic flaw. I don't think no, so. Of I think course not. Pure opportunism and a kind of mass hysteria, really, wasn't it? And a certain kind of feeling of, you know, let's let's stick it to the police. And I'm not quite sure what the hell was going on. Nobody's ever really been quite able to deconstruct it. But Nigel Farage's letter, some people will think, yeah. is, a, is a stroke of absolute genius. Because in it, he ma- well, it's very cleverly constructed, isn't it? In it, he manages to say uh, he wouldn't want to live next door to some Romanians. Uh, however, uh, most of the Romanians here are honest, decent people who just want to um, better themselves. However... However, there is a problem. He's very concerned about uh, treatment of minorities in Romania itself. These are the Roma. He's very concerned about them. But at the same time, he sure as beep doesn't want them here as he says, because they're responsible for 92% of ATM crime and 28,000 of them have been arrested in the last um, yeah. in the last five years in the London area alone. So all sorts of things are happening. We're told this is not racist. Um, I, I, Romania is a fine place. They haven't quite managed to recover from communism. Uh, they don't treat their own minorities properly. They're living a pretty, pretty pitiful life over there. Although yeah. most Romanians are God-fearing decent people, oh my gosh, we're not very keen on the Roma who are coming and and, and perp- perpetrating all these crimes. So really, we want to just sever all connection with Romania. It's quite a clever juxtaposition of I care, I'm very concerned, I'm not racist, and then kind of all Romanians are potentially criminals, let's get rid of them kind of, <laughs> kind of thing, don't, don't you think? Or, or you can correct me if you disagree, of course. Well, look, I think, I think um, Nigel Farage is a bloke. Uh, mm. I don't think he's a professional politician. And I think uh, he, he was very clumsy on his interview with uh, James O'Brien on LBC last week. Um, and as a result of that, he's had to uh, you know, make a clarification, a clarification that I think uh, makes sense. It's the only thing that can make sense from, what he, from the position that he was asked to take. Would you like to re- live next to a group of Romanian men or some German children? Mm. Well, the answer is obvious to most people. I mean, the, the British Well, I feel government... rather peculiar living with some parentless German children. Where are they? family yeah. <laughs> a house full of strange, it's, it's, strangely it's, 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 unparented German children it. or a, a house full of Romanian men. Right? It, I is, don't know. it was a crazy hypothetical. He should have rejected the premise of the question. But what he should have brought up, not just these points that he's put in the Telegraph, mm. is that the British government itself put restrictions on Romanian immigrants and didn't put restrictions on German immigrants mm. for many years. And we only... Restri- we only uh, uh, took away the restrictions in January of this year yeah. for Romanian immigrants. So to, we could turn back around and say, oh, well, hold, hold on a minute. British government policy is racist, therefore, or has been traditionally racist on this issue, therefore. But nobody wants to talk about that. What the newspapers are saying and what, 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 what all you're hearing is, oh, Nigel Farage this, Nigel Farage that. You know, if we had more people, more politicians like Nigel Farage, who are just blokes and who do sometimes flip up and make mistakes and who aren't just sort of sheen like like some seamless aluminium siding um then then you would get these debates occurring and we'd actually move the ball forward on mm-hmm. issues of, like this on racism and things like that but we don't we have these we have these automatons of, of nick clegg and david cameron and ed Miliband, who you can't pick them apart in a lineup and therefore we never have decent debates about these things what, what is the punchline of a decent debate about this, though? And also, why single out Romania in particular? What about all the other countries um, from whom people who want to make themselves better lives are pouring and they're arriving here in London? 
Yes, well, I think the, the Romanian issue has very much come up because of the restrictions being lifted in January. Um, I think it was it was sort of a, a low-hanging fruit in terms of what people could identify with. They've heard about this all in the news. Uh, there were reports going back all the way to February last year about about Romanian Bulgarian immigrants coming to this country. So it was just a, it was just a hook, you know. It was a news angle, um, and therefore therefore it makes sense to pick something that will, would resonate into people's minds. Mm -hmm. When I say a decent debate, what I mean is that issues actually get resolved. That but actually, we see that, yes, 92% of ATM crime in London is caused by uh, Romanian immigrants. Those are Metropolitan Police figures. That the head of Europol has agreed, in essence, with what Nigel Farage was saying. That the Romanian Prime Minister last year said the same thing. These things have to be resolved. We can't just sort of leave them hanging and say, oh, well, you know, I guess we're all different and we've got to tolerate each other. You know, something's got to happen. And I guess the UKIP solution to that is, is, is restrict open immigration from Europe. And it's a good start. Uh, Raheem, thank you very much for talking to us. That's Raheem Kassam, their managing editor of Breitbart in London, which is a right-wing news site. Let's talk to Adrian.